So now in this video we're going to look at uh, balancing uh, capacitors. So for the most part, as long as you use equal value capacitors, which you should use while they are in series, each one of them will have a pretty reliable fraction of the total supply voltage. So 10 volts with uh, two equal value series capacitors, each one will have 5 volts across there. We're just going to use 1000 microfarad as an example. If each one of them is perfectly 5 volts, that would be perfectly balanced. Now, unfortunately, capacitors are not perfect. They have leakage, a little bit of current still gets through and uh, whatnot. And uh, if this one's allowing a lot of current to uh, leak through it, and that one hardly any, over time charges are gonna build up and uh, leave there and uh, go through that uh, capacitor. So at some point, this capacitor won't have any voltage across it, and that one will have 10 volts across it because that's the supply voltage. It will have all of the voltage across it. That's if it's completely unbalanced. Probably will never get that bad, but uh, if that one's really leaking a lot of current, it is possible. So one way to uh, prevent capacitors from becoming unbalanced, especially if there's gonna be a charge across them for a significant period of time, is to put a couple resistors in parallel with each one of the capacitors right there. So the resistors are in series, they're a voltage divider, but uh, they're parallel to the capacitors right there. And uh, so if uh, the voltage starts getting higher on that capacitor, more current's gonna go through that resistor and help lower its voltage. And uh, if a lot of current is uh, slipping through that capacitor relative to that one, there's gonna be less voltage across uh, the resistor and then current will be allowed to uh, build up across that capacitor and help hold its voltage up a little bit. Hope that makes sense. We're not gonna go into it in too much detail, but uh, let's look at this on the board. Here we have a couple 1000 microfarad capacitors right there in series. The uh, positive side of that one, they are electrolytic. They're polarized, you have to put them in the right direction. Positive directly to the positive rail. And then the negative side here is uh, to this jumper, which jumps across to the positive of that one and the negative to that one. We got them in series. We're gonna take uh, voltage measurements with the multimeter and we have the power supply set to 10 volts. So now I'll try to get this all in one shot. Sometimes it's getting loud here, so I may have to edit this down a bit, but uh, there you can see we have 10 volts across the power supply, and we're gonna have close to five volts across each of these. Look like we're doing uh, pretty good right there. And I already did a video charging these uh, before and whatnot, so we're not gonna go into that in detail. Now, we can just see that it's uh, equally divided across them. Now I'm gonna short this capacitor. That's one way to get that worst case scenario that I showed you. We will have zero volts across that capacitor because there's a short, there's no way for uh, voltage to build up and the rest of the voltage goes across that capacitor. Now I'm gonna remove the jumper and you're gonna see that uh, we still hold that voltage. Now this is gonna slowly gain uh, voltage over time but it's still pretty much uh, zero volts whereas this one is higher. One way we can speed this up is take a uh, resistor there put it parallel just to this one. So again, this is 100,000 ohm resistor going to the positive supply there. And uh, so current is going through that resistor and helping to charge the capacitor here. At some point, this capacitor will get up to 10 volts, but you can see that the voltage is rising right there fairly uh, quickly. Now we're gonna do the uh, voltage divider here, uh, negative supply right there, because the other end of that capacitor is to the uh, negative supply. And we're going to see that it's not changing as fast, but it is still equaling out uh, relatively quickly. At some point, we should have pretty close to 5 volts across each of them. We'll come back in a little bit. So now about uh, 2 or 3 minutes went by, somewhere around there. And there you can see now we got up to about uh, 4.32, still going up. And uh, this one's still going down right there. We're closing in to where they're both about 5. We could speed this up uh, quicker if we used lower value resistors right there. Again, we want them to be equal value resistors so that we get half of the supply voltage. And uh, you could go with even higher value resistors if you have a problem with the capacitors uh, discharging too quickly or whatnot. And uh, so there's some things to be aware of when uh, you're modifying them, uh, their values. You don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low. So now I'm going to remove these all together and uh, show you the other uh, problem with capacitors becoming unbalanced. So we're going to uh, discharge this capacitor 
again so we're going to see that it is zero volts and the other one is uh, 10 volts right now and we're losing a little bit of voltage uh, in the wires and stuff from the power supply so it's a little bit low and I'm going to uh, remove this again we have the uh, full voltage there basically and practically no voltage right there what I'm gonna do is cut the power from the uh, power supply and uh, so I'm gonna hit the button now it's off and the uh, capacitors they start uh, discharging through the uh, power supply right there if we had a load they discharge quicker but there you can see we actually have a negative voltage which is building up because this capacitor is reverse charging that capacitor so it's gonna stop somewhere about positive 5 volts for that capacitor and uh, somewhere about negative 5 volts for that capacitor it's very bad to give capacitors these electrolytic ones a negative voltage so I'm gonna turn the power back on and charge it up so hopefully that didn't do any damage over that short period of time but uh, you never know for sure so any case gonna end the video there hope you enjoyed make sure you turn the multimeter off right there and uh, check out one of the other videos I'm post to the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video